Good evening, friends. Today, this evening, sponsored by Biological E Limited, we have come together. Me, Dr. Sanjeev Kumar, cardiologist, and Dr. Krishna Patil, nephrologist, have come to share few thoughts about blood pressure. What is blood pressure? What is fluctuations in blood pressure? How to measure the blood pressure accurately? Let us start with our thoughts and our experiences. So, sir, we see many people coming with hypertension. How common is blood pressure? Sir, in Indian adult population, around 35 percent of Indian adults have high blood pressure. So, you mean common. to say that every third individual has a blood pressure? Yes. And how many of us know that we have that blood pressure? Sir, only 50 percent might be aware that they have blood pressure. So, we need to impress upon this that if 100 crore Indian population 30 crore people are suffering from hypertension. We do not have that resources to treat each and every one of them. So how do we really diagnose them and let them reach to us? For those who have risk factors, like those who are uh, obese, those who are crossing a certain age of 35-40, it's worth checking their blood pressure at least once in a year. Or whenever they visit hospital for any other reason, it is better that they also look at their blood pressure to diagnose early. So the beauty about blood pressure is now they have removed the doctor from the equation of blood pressure checking. They have now actually told that the machines available like this for checking blood pressure, small or big, rich or poor, doesn't matter. Any blood pressure machine or instrument is beautiful. It is correct. So what does this machine tells us? There is a small cuff. We will demonstrate one checkup of blood pressure to our Krishna Patil friend. So what do we need to take this? This rod has to come in front, in front and this puff has to be tied so much tight that one finger only can barely go. And then the person has to relax. He has to keep his back straight, take one or two minutes of deep breaths. And if possible, you remove doctor from the equation. That means doctor should go out of the room. Or if you are at home, the best time to check this blood pressure is early morning in the house before getting out of the bed, before tea or coffee. So what you need to do is, as soon as you on the blood pressure machine, just press once. Also remember, we should not be talking during checking the blood pressure. Whatever the reading comes, don't panic if it is high. Check it once again uh, and if it is more than 140 by 90, it is good to report to your doctor. Who? It can be a nephrologist, it can be a cardiologist, it can be a general practitioner, it can be a physician, it can be any doctor, even your gynecologist if you are a girl. So all these people have very well ideas how to manage this blood pressure and different scenarios have different treatment of blood pressure. Now you might ask this, in some scenarios, the blood pressure medicines need to be changed, they need to be addressed, your blood pressure need to be frequently monitored if you are a high blood pressure patient. So when the blood pressure is dangerous, at what level? Blood pressure, if it is above 180 by 100, it has to be addressed as an urgency. So understand, whenever somebody tells you that the blood pressure is high, and they say that it is fluctuating. They say it can cause a heart attack. It is not 140, 150. It is more than 160 by 110. Not one reading. Many readings, if consistently many readings, having very severe headache, chest pain or breathlessness, that is a time that should be report to the emergency. We are seeing many people coming to emergency with slightly elevated blood pressure late in the nights. It can be attributed only to anxiety. You can very well wait till morning and reach special clinics called hypertension clinics. Now, what is difference between a hypertension management by a nephrologist point of view, by a cardiologist point of view, or by a gynecologist point of view in large? When an organ is threatened because of blood pressure, whether it is heart, whether it is the kidneys, whether it's the brain, the eyes, retina, all these organs, when chronically exposed to higher blood pressure, they are at threat. So these specialists 
what they uh, are supposed to do or what they do is they target an appropriate blood pressure of 130 by 80 chronically so that we can reduce target organ damage what i explain to my patients is see if you are watering your plants in your garden if you put the water with a higher pressure it's going to disturb the plant in the same way the pressure in the blood vessels with which the blood is flowing through them it is entering into the brain into the heart into the kidneys if it goes with a higher pressure it's going to affect that organ's life so we understood that more than 140 by 90 is high and the target should come down to 130 by 80 sometimes in very elderly group you can also accept the blood pressure of 140 by 90 because decreasing the blood pressure in those elderly individuals like more than 70 may feel giddy and sometimes also fall down. So let us come down of what are the treatment of blood pressure that we have in our armature. So these are the four tablets. One class of the tablets. There are many companies and many manufacturing, many combinations of that. But you should understand that we have only four type of majority, more, mostly four type of blood pressure medicines. One target at beta receptor called beta blocker, one target at calcium channel called calcium channel blocker, one target at the kidney called ACE inhibitors and the one target at again kidney removing the urine is called diuretics. These four medicines are in combination and in play are given by many specialists according to what organ is diseased. So I would ask Sir, how many medicines do you give for blood pressure? In what, what stages? Sir, in the stage 1 or 2 blood pressure, that is when the blood pressure is in the beginning stages 140 by 90 or 150 by 100, we can use a combination of a single drug or a combination of two drugs. Yes. But when an organ is getting threatened, especially the kidneys, in which scenario the blood pressure is not controlled with two drugs, then these patients require multiple drugs, maybe three, four or sometimes in especially kidney disease, we may have to give five drugs. So, so there are some scenarios where we are giving four or five medicines and the blood pressure is still not controlled and they get very upset and come to us. So what are the two important things that we do when these people come back with a higher blood pressure? The one is checking whether they are really taking the correct dose and correct medicines. Make sure that these elderly people understand with this one one medicine whether when they need to take, how much they need to take. And the second most common reason is the diet. How much salt should be taken, sir? So the recommendation is to keep less than 5 grams per day of salt intake for those who have high blood pressure. Now, sir, I don't have a measurement instrument. So how do I measure how much so is 5 grams? 5 grams is a one tablespoon. Yes. So if you have one tablespoon of salt in whole day, it includes everything. If you have that amount of salt, in fact, before starting your blood pressure medicine, you can get a spare time of six weeks where you can do some exercise, where you can do some yoga, where you can change your diet and habits, where you can get your sleep little better and then see whether your blood pressure comes less than 130 by 80. You really do not need medicine. So is there anything which one medicine is better than another or one doctor is better than another? Different people may need a different category of blood pressure medicine. So it's the art of the physician, treating physician to pick up. A person is anxious, his heart rate is on the higher side. He may choose a beta blocker. Yes. A person has some fluid retention in his body, getting some swelling, some shortness of breath. He may use a diuretic. So it's the art of the physician to understand the patient and choose an appropriate BP medicine to reach the targets. So rather than going to one specialist, you would rather love to go to your own physician, your own consultant, your own nephrologist, your own cardiologist, because he understands you well. In fact, people are so intelligent that they understand themselves so well that they come and tell us, sir, this particular tablet doesn't suit me. I don't want to take this. Then we address that scenario. Your blood pressure medicines has to be addressed every one to two monthly. If you are well, maybe three monthly, but you should check your blood pressure at home and keep a recording of it so that the doctor can help you. So there are many other aspects of blood pressure. Can blood pressure harm your organs? Yes. So to prevent 
organ injury what we recommend is the appropriate monitoring of blood pressure is very essential many times as sir said that patients come running that okay today my bp is 160 by 100 they come running so what we recommend is you take your readings for 7 days at home before breakfast in the morning and before dinner at night you keep a record of 7 days and if the average is 130 by 80 we are very happy one day it may go a little up another day it may be normal so if the 7 days reading is average is 130 by 80 then you are well controlled and if not you come to your uh, treating physician to get the medicine suggested the one biggest fear of hypertension i want to address today is people think that their bp will rise a little and they will die suddenly it really does not happen when we say that 10 years when 100 people are seen if the blood pressure is one higher range they say that your chance of dying is higher is only in percentages 0.000 some percentage so it is not that if your blood pressure is 140 by 90 for 2 days you may die or you get a heart attack yes if you keep that blood pressure in a range you will live with a healthy organ a healthy kidney a healthy heart for a very long time i would love to address some more questions if you have please write it down in the block and we dr sanjeev kumar and dr uh, krishna patil on the behalf of biological e limited thank to all the viewers who were there with us to listen to this we will come back with few more question and answer sessions